What I can tell you is Code of Clarity is powered by Mr. Floor. Mr. Floor cleaning products are all non-toxic and environmentally safe, and you can learn more at mrfloor.com. And if you're watching on uh, YouTube right now, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Robbie likes to see everybody subscribe to her little Code of Clarity segment. And uh, we get them posted about, I don't know, about a week later or something like that. Right, Randall? Somewhere in there. About a week back. About Uh, a week back. uh, Yeah! (laughs) Anyway, so I... Anywho. I've been preaching for a long time. To eat old candy? We're not talking. We're going to save that for the next hour. Because Lisa wants to talk about expired food or not expired food. Right. I want Lisa to talk about that. So we could talk about that. But I go into a lot of clients' homes, and they're usually older people, either looking to downsize or whatever, and they have their kids' stuff. Uh We've been talking about this for a long time. Uh And I'm always telling these parents, hey, Don't let your kids keep the stuff at the house. Mm -hmm. I hope my parents aren't listening right now. Well, now (laughs) I'm going to preach. Is 53 too old to have my son? No, no, no. Now I'm preaching to the children because it's not working preaching to the parents. They're like, but my kid has a condo in the city, and her floors are squeaky, and she has to walk up, and she doesn't have enough room to keep all her stuff, so I'm going to keep it here. I'm like, but you are moving and you are packing all that stuff. You are paying me to pack it, to move it, to bring it to the house. But she doesn't have the space. She's 53 years old to let her figure it out on her own mommy. Wow. Yeah. So now it's time to go. Time to go. (laughs) Instead of preaching to the parent, I'm now preaching to the child. Okay. This is what I'm going to say. Yeah. If your mother is saving all your kindergarten, you know, little crayon drawings where you draw uh-huh. a circle and you put two dots in it, uh-huh. do you want this, Lisa? Do you want the drawings that you made in kindergarten? See, actually, I'm, I'm as much as I joke, I don't really have anything at my mom's house. <laughs> but, uh, but I was just playing the other side, the devil's advocate. Okay, yeah. in general. But, but no, I mean, no. So if there was something you wanted, and you're the general devil's advocate, if there was something you wanted... Would it be at your house or at your mom's No, house? you should have it at your own house. I'm with you on this. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I tell the parents all the time. I said, you know what? If your kid wanted it after all this time. After 30 years? But it's her first doll. Then either she wants it uh-huh. or she doesn't want it. It's the first outfit that, she, you know, her first three years worth of outfits. And you know what they are now? They're stained because the stain doesn't come out till later. You know, the elastic is broken, but yeah, they're going to save them for their children. Okay. I had a lady today <laughs> who I hope is not this week. I should say uh-huh. who I hope is not listening. We're going through all her son's clothes. Her son is six. Okay. And she's like, this is so cute. I'm going to say this. It doesn't fit him anymore. Right. Yeah. Right. But I'm going to save this. Why are you saving this? We ended up saving a storage bin worth of clothes because it's cute. What are you going to do with it? Well, maybe I'll give it to somebody. Who are you going to give it to? He's six. It's going to be a while before he has children, if he has children, Uh you know? Well, um, my stepchildren. Are your stepchildren married? No, they're in their early 20s. Are they engaged? Are they anywhere near? No. Okay, (laughs) but you're saving your son's clothes for your stepchildren who may ever get married or have children, might not even like your kids clothes they, right. they may not think it's cute right yeah, I, I just can't believe that the things that, that people are saving for their children or you know it's bins and bins of journals kids journals you know what she came home she lives in Colorado she came home for the weekend and she just said mom I don't have time to go through all this just move it to the new house and then I'll go through it and so there I am picking up basically recycling you know, <laughs> Stop, right. it scraps be going of re- paper, it's recycle bin. your test grades, it's your report cards from college. Come on. Does anybody look at that? Your report cards from college? Fresh meat, don't do this. <laughs> you know, it's a paper that you wrote on solar power, you know, whatever. I'm you actually know. hoping that that is actually in my parents' basement. Yeah. <laughs> I know. am looking for, it's funny you mentioned it, I am looking for it. But yeah, no, there's so much stuff. Right. That, that nobody You did wants. a report on pandas when you were in it, third grade, yeah. Yeah. you know, and those big things that you can't even, you, 
Oh, the big, huge poster boards yeah. that are like the story tale. Yeah, I yeah. don't have time to go through this, Mom. Just pack it up. I'm like, all right, if you want to pay me to pack this, unpack it, and then sit around and get stinky and dusty. No, In kids, <laughs> don't let your parents do this. Don't make your parents do this. If you don't want it, get rid of it. Recycle it. Donate it. Get rid of it. Make yeah. it go away. Make it go away. All right, there you go. We'll be back with uh, Smart 265 next. We'll return. Don't leave it for your parents.